this is the day that the FA appointed Thomas Tuchel. The uh, the unveil Thomas Tuchel. The appointment, uh, the announcement was made uh, last night. It will be made officially today uh, around 1.30 lunchtime. Faker others will be there for talk sport and uh, you will no doubt be hearing from the great and the good of the FA as to why Tuchel has chosen to be the man. Uh, Luke in Birmingham, good morning everybody. German, English, French, Brazilian, white, black, pink, green spots, I don't care. If he's a winner in his CV, that's all I care about. That's all we want to know about. There's Nick, a Blackpool fan. Morning guys, I didn't hear anyone moaning about Wiegmann not being English when the Lionesses won the Euros. Mm. If Tuco wins, his nationality will not matter. In fact, it doesn't matter now. So what we know is, he's a German. He's a German in charge of England. What difference does that make? Anything? And what is the news? uh, How is the news being greeted over in Germany? Konstantin Eckner is our German football broadcaster and writer chum, and he joins us live on the show. Konstantin, good morning. How has the news been greeted in Germany? Oh, I mean, with a bit of a surprise, of course. Uh, I mean, it's the first German to uh, coach the English national team, of course. Uh, Everyone knows that, the third foreigner. So, uh, on the other hand, um, most people. uh, who are involved in German football know and knew that uh, Tuchel wanted to go back to England uh, because uh, at this point in his career he basically prefers to be in England <laughs> uh, compared to his native Germany. Um, so that's why it, it it doesn't it didn't come as a as a huge surprise, but it is a bit of a surprise that it's actually the uh, the English national team and not possibly Manchester United or something uh, something like that. So, so constantly, and I think you'll be spending a lot more time over here with us, which is uh, uh, no bad news as far as we're concerned. Constantine, going forward, who's got the better German manager, England or Germany? Well, uh, that, <laughs> that's that's hard to answer, actually. Um, I mean, you, you, Nagelsmann has done a, tr- a tremendous job with the Germany national team. Obviously, especially now after a couple of uh, experienced players have retired, still they beat the Netherlands on Monday and, and they were quite dominant in, in doing so. Um, on the other hand, Thomas Tuchel is his first job uh, in international football. And f- from my point of view, it might actually, international football might actually suit him better at this point, because uh, as we know, he can be very charming, he can be very successful, but he can also be kind of off-putting and irritated uh, once uh, things don't go his way. So the less hectic schedule of international football might actually help Tuchel. You see, the best guy is not like that, just exactly as Constantine has described. He can be very charming, he's extremely effective, but don't worry, he'll get irritable if, if, if he has to. That's what you want, Simon. Well, it depends if the irritation... You don't want a nodding dog. No, of course not, but it depends if the irritation is justified. If it's justifiable irritation, then absolutely. And the irritation and how you manifest the irritation and how you communicate it is also uh, important because you can't just go around saying what you want to who you want, how you want, where you want, when you want, irrespective of whether you're irritated or not, unless you're the organ grinder. And as a football manager, you're not. You're part of the of the, of the mechanisms. So there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I've seen... Uh, Klopp get irritated with situations and circumstances, predominantly with the media and not with his employers, but ultimately the media were his employers because they're the ones that are bankrolling football clubs these days. So, it, you know, I don't have a problem with football managers getting irritated. I have a problem with them manifesting it in a certain way like Conti, who I thought was a disgrace when he left Tottenham. Um, the, you, you, say he's, you say he's probably better suited to international football. Why would that be, Constantine? Because uh, throughout his career, usually when uh, Thomas Tuchel came in, he, he joined a new club, Borussia Dortmund in 2015, Bayern Munich most recently, or even Chelsea the first four months, and then they won the Champions League, right? So usually when he uh, joins a club, he has an immediate impact, a positive impact. He did so at his at the uh, four previous uh, clubs he, he coached. So I think he will have an immediate positive impact when he uh, comes in and uh, takes over the national team. But what then happens is usually that... Uh, because of the hectic schedule, because of everything that's going on week to week, from Saturday to Wednesday to Saturday to Wednesday, um, Tuchel sometimes loses a bit uh, the connection to the team and sometimes he loses, uh, doesn't follow his plans anymore and stuff like that. He doesn't come up with new plans, before, so he doesn't have the time to do so, to throw up new plans. I think uh, international football offers you the chance to work a lot, to analyze a lot between international breaks. And so he has much more time to analyze, uh, come up with new plans, scout players. So in the end, it might actually help him um, because we have seen, we have seen Tuchel at his best, but also we have seen when he um, falls off a rock a bit. Danny, how do you think the players will be um, 
reacting to this? Harry Kane knows him, of course. Says he's a fantastic coach. Are these kind of sitting up and listening this morning thinking, mm-hmm, need to bring a re game for this guy? Well, all I've heard is positive stuff, which is always a good sign. I think the... Um the intelligence of him, he's, he's got a warmth about him. You can, he's got that humour comes out. You can see that in him as well. Um, I mean, we've got a lot of young players who should be excited about working with a manager who's won trophies and all, worked all over the all over Europe. So, I would be trying my best to put yourself in the window. I mean, I, I find the only thing I find a little bit strange is he's starting in January. And we've got a few more, ga- a couple more games to go. He, should, yeah, should be getting straight in there. Really, should be straight into it now. But he, but he'll be watching from afar. There and might the, be some commercial reasons behind that. There, there might, might be, but the there lads some obligations that Bayern Munich are able to enforce that they've negotiated via the FA that they don't do it till January. Okay. There may be something like that. Maybe, but in terms of the players, I think it still doesn't change the fact you're in the window now. Some of the players who thought maybe they would be in the squad all the time could be on the periphery, depending on his own likes, because there's a lot of young players in there and. Um, I think we'll see a few changes. I don't think the squad will be come the beginning of next year. His first squad choice. I think you'll find it won't be as as uh, what's the word? Not as similar as it is now. I think there'll be a good few changes. Yeah. So I mean, it's all change uh, over here then, Constantine, and then going forward. Obviously, people in Germany will watch with interest as as to how this fella does uh, with England. But it certainly gives a different. It certainly does a different element to the game from a long distance point of view, from for, from your German's point of view, because you you people over there will be watching with a very keen interest now how England got on under one of your own. Oh yeah, of course. Um, I mean, in the end, of course, everyone in Germany wants to win the World Cup in twenty uh, twenty six, and uh, but if it ends up being Tuchel, um, so. Uh, so, some people at least, uh, probably a lot of people will be happy for him. Unless, of course, uh, England beats uh, Germany in the final or semi-finals. <laughs> then that's a different story. I mean, uh, once once Tuchel faces the Germany national team, coached, by the way, by his former player, Julian Nagelsmann, um, I think then uh, Tuchel will be seen as a foreigner. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.